Can yeah. you elaborate on the specific health trends you've observed amongst star seeds and how do they correlate with different star lineages? A lot of them cross over to different lineages. I had to descend to get to Earth. A lot of people have had to descend. So we're taking our vibrations down. We are in the third dimension on Earth. And you're here and you start to learn who you are and you dive into your story and you don't want to be like that. The world doesn't have to be like that, the way that the people have made it. So you start to dive into that and then you learn, oh, <laughs> this is like a symptom of this group of aliens. And you talk to them. And I have direct contact with them if I want to. Sometimes I have to tell them to back off. It depends on who you're talking to. And this is going to sound a little weird to people now. They're going to be like, what the heck? Once you go down this path and you get into your Akashic records, that's what I'm talking about overall here. The Akashic records are the records of every living thing's energy and every life form that is taken of all time, down to an ant, down to a microbe, down to us, to aliens, to whatever the heck is out there. I've seen so many things out there that sometimes I'm in awe and sometimes I have to study it for a second. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Because if you see the paranormal with your eyes, even with your third eye, and you're trying to comprehend what is this thing, like... Sometimes things look scary, but they are not. And sometimes things don't look scary, but they are just like people. So when you dive into the paranormal, you have to keep that in mind and you have to protect yourself even more so because it's invisible. So you have to know your own body. And that's another reason you need to learn the health issues that can come up for you. And then you can read your body and something's negative is here. I got to get it out. From this path, I have learned my body down to a cellular level. That sounds silly, but I can feel it down to a cellular level of what is going on. I have a great doctor and he helps me a ton, but it's been the same thing. Like you go to your doctors, multiple doctors, you're having all of these symptoms. My major one I have pancreatitis. I kept going to the doctors and they were like running blood tests and all of that stuff to test the levels of your enzymes and, uh, and all the things that they do. Every time that took ultrasounds of my gallbladder, I don't see anything wrong. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. This went on for seven years and I knew something was wrong. I don't know if anybody knows anything about pancreatitis, but it's like one of the worst pains on the face of the earth and lots of vomiting and things involved. I just so happened that my best friend worked in radiology at the hospital and they had a HIDA scan there. I can't tell you exactly what all that thing does because I don't work in the medical field, but what it did, what they put me in there and they injected me with radioactive whatever to make my gallbladder function. Whatever they were injecting into me was forcing my gallbladder to work so they could watch it. And that's when Everybody was like, oh, crap. And I was like, yeah, my gallbladder literally was not working for seven years. I was putting on like tons of weight, but yet I was not eating because I couldn't because I was just throwing up like seven years. And finally, so that is a very good indicator that you have starseed DNA when you, you're constantly going to the doctor and they're like, there's nothing wrong with you. I can't find anything wrong with you. It's all in your head. They go for that. It's all in your head. It's anxiety or whatever, because that's the only thing <laughs> they don't know what else to say, basically. That's the number one clue.